Hello friend, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic benefit management plan. Let me tell you that it's a very easy topic to understand and this topic basically related to project management. So uh, first of all, I would request to please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell option. So let's start our tutorial. What is basically a benefit management plan? Uh, friend uh, remember one thing that it is basically uh, related to project management topic and uh, benefit management plan basically describes how the benefits of the project will be delivered and when and when they will be delivered remember one thing friend uh, whenever we do any project whenever we execute or initiate any project we have some targets we have some objectives in our mind whenever a company starts a project there should be there is some objective there is some benefit which is basically in their mind due to which they are starting some uh, due to which they are starting any project or taking some initiative so benefit management plan basically describe the benefit of the project and also it describe when it will be delivered the purpose of undertaking any project is to provide some type of benefit as a result of delivering the products of the project. So remember one thing the benefit management plan basically describes the benefit of a project and also describe when it will be delivered. Okay. So uh, friend remember one thing that uh, there could be uh, different types of benefits which is basically in the mind of a company or a person which he wants to achieve through the project for example reducing the business cost through the automation of a process increase the sales of a business with new or improved product meeting the requirement of a legislative or regulatory matter increase employee satisfaction increase awareness about product all these are the basically types of benefits these these are just simple sample or example of benefits which can be achieved through a project remember one thing whenever we do uh, whenever we start a project we have some benefit or objective in our mind that we want to achieve from a project and these benefits can be of any type for example I have just given you some sample examples of benefits and also we want to measure these benefits as well okay so here I explain you some basic types of benefits which you are uh, which you we can achieve from the uh, from the project there could be two types of benefits uh, one is tangible and the second one is intangible tangible means uh, something which we can measure for example uh, increase in sales in money in financial reduction in operational cost etc something which we can measure which we can uh, measure uh, basically is a type of tangible intangible means the, that cannot be measured accurately for example the effects of this benefit can be seen for example brand awareness employee satisfaction uh, uh, employee security etc so these are the benefits which can be which cannot be measured accurately but we can see it but we can feel it okay so tangible means the benefits uh, which can be measured for example financial matters for example reduction in operational cost intangible means the benefits which cannot be measured for example brand awareness uh, uh, employee satisfaction etc so these are the benefits so both these two types of uh, benefit management plans covered both these two types of benefits tangible or intangible benefit measurement is also very necessary remember one thing whenever we initiate a project we have some benefit in our mind so this is very necessary that we measure the benefits so the benefit management uh, management plans also describes or explain the measurement of our benefits 
and it is also very necessary that the baseline study of the current cost within the base business is needed so that a comparison can be made following the delivery of a project what does that mean basically see uh, remember for example if uh, you want to increase the sale of your business for example you are saying that right now uh, your sale is $500 per month for example remember uh, just an example so uh, the baseline is that you are expecting uh, $600 uh, whenever when you when you for example when you launch a new product or new mobile app uh, you are expecting that your increase will be uh, your sale will increase for $100 what does that mean for example it means that the six hundred dollar is your uh, is your expected is your uh, baseline that you are expecting uh, the uh, cause the sale would increase for six hundred dollar so when uh, in the benefit measure ma ma management plan we will measure that after uh, how much how much sale is increased currently it was five hundred dollar and now it's increased to for example uh, 700 dollar so it means it in is increased by 200 dollar so that means you are going good but if your sale is not uh, increased for it decreased so you can say the uh, you are not getting the proper results or proper uh, benefits from the project which you have initiated so you can describe or explain it in the benefit management plan so remember one thing the baseline study baseline study means the criteria or through which you can measure the performance of a project that means the criteria through which you can explain and through which you can measure the performance of your project for example in that particular case you are the, your measurement criteria is that you are expecting six hundred dollar uh, to baseline your project uh, that your sales should be increased to six hundred dollar currently it is five hundred dollar and you are expecting to six hundred dollar so baseline criteria means the criteria through which you you measure the performance of your uh, work or your initiative so this is called the uh, baseline study that means through baseline study you can measure the performance of your initiative of your project and you can uh, you can measure that are you on the right track the uh, initiative which you have taken the objective or the goal which you have set to achieve are you going on the track or or you are not on the right track so this is called the uh, benefit management and be the benefit remember one thing the benefit management is totally based on the baseline study baseline criteria uh, components of benefit management plan uh, there are following other components of the benefit management plan first of all this description of the benefit that is expected to be delivered what ex what benefit you are expecting from the uh, from the project remember one thing that it is not necessary that the benefit could be tangible or intangible it could be tangible or intangible it is not necessary it is always should always be a financial benefit it could be a intangible benefit as well for example product awareness employee satisfaction employee security it could be a intangible benefit as well schedule for delivery delivering the benefits like for example when you will receive the benefits of a project after one month after one year after two years so this is basically schedule uh, when you are receiving when you will uh, the when the del benefits of the project will be delivered who is basically the owner of the benefits who will basically for example uh, for example if you are uh, if you are initiating a project for example financial department is basically the owner uh, the company CEO is basically the owner of the benefit uh, any particular uh, division of a company is basically the owner of the benefits so uh, this is not necessary but the owner of the benefits will also be described will also be mentioned in the benefit management plan then how the benefit will be measured including the baseline major if uh, measurement if appropriate it also describes the baseline concept that how we will measure how we will measure that the uh, project is going in the right direction how we uh, are we achieving the objective or goal which we have set at the time of baseline setting or not 
it also describes the measurement criteria or baseline concept and it also describe it also measured it also measure uh, it gives you measurement uh, benefit management plan also gives you management uh, measurement of the benefits of the uh, project or initiative which you have taken also it describes the assumptions and risk considered in determining the benefit remember one thing assumption means anything which could be wrong you are assuming you are assuming something which could be wrong for example uh, uh, you are going in a bank and you are assuming that the internet connection would be available then uh, the second point is risk risk remember one thing it could be a uh, uh, it could be a, a positive or negative impact it could be a positive or negative impact on a project so risk could be positive risk could be negative okay so remember one thing the assumptions and risk would also be uh, determined in the benefit management plan benefit management plan also give you the uh, description about the assumptions and the risk about the project then uh, remember one thing the uh, regular reviews of benefit management plan are also required that after every three months the senior management review the benefit management plan and see how much you are going well in the project for example uh, it describes it may have been as you know benefit management plan major the benefits of the plan uh, of a project so it uh, the uh, senior management or company CEO can review the uh, benefit management plan and see that are we or uh, are we on the right track are we getting the uh, benefits which we have set it in the start of a project are we getting the right benefits are we on the right track or not so basically through the measurement of the uh, measurement uh, or the baseline which we have set in the starting of the project we measured the uh, benefits and describe in the benefit management plan and the senior management can review the benefit management plan to see that how we are going well because see if we are not going well so they can take a decision to terminate the project if we are going good then they can uh, they can give uh, more go ahead to improve to go ahead in the plan plan so basically a uh, review of benefit management plan is also necessary so the owner of benefit should know that how well we are going or not the purpose of review regular reviews of benefit man management plan is that then in the last uh, remember one thing that P in the pmp exam uh, remember one thing that you would definitely see or expect some few questions related to benefit management plan in the exam um at least i think approximately four to five questions uh, you should expect in the exam related to benefit management plan it uh, also uh, you can see this uh, benefit management plan in the multiple choice options as well so uh, remember one thing uh, if you are preparing for PMP exam or you are already a project manager and working in some company remember one thing that as a project manager you should have idea or basic concept of benefit management plan and the purpose of making it that why we are making the project management uh, benefit management plan remember one thing whenever we uh, start a project we have some uh, target we have some objective or uh, goal in our mind to describe the goal of a project or initiative and to properly measure it we make a project we make a benefit management plan so benefit management plans describe the benefits or uh, benefits which we are getting from the uh, from the project and also it describes the uh, progress it, it also measured the uh, benefits which we are getting from the project so that the owner of a benefit or the owner of the company can decide that are we going in the right direction are we get getting the right benefits or the desired results from the project or not so this is basically the main objective or main purpose of making the benefit management plan 
if we are not getting the right objectives or if we are not getting the desired result from a project so obviously we should have to terminate the project uh, or if we are uh, uh, getting uh, the right benefits in terms of tangible benefit or in terms of intangible benefits so it should be gives you a clear picture to the top management that we are going well or we have some issues uh, or we are not getting the desired result from the project so uh, friend uh, that's all from my side uh, i have tried my level best to explain you the concept of uh, benefit management plan uh, if you have any question please do ask from me in the comment option the comment box uh, i would love to answer your query and um, uh, remember one thing that pmp exam is a very tough exam and it's a basically a scenario based exam remember one thing that it is if you are going to give the exam of pmp remember one thing that your concept and your scenarios should be clear in your mind remember one thing that uh, without the clear concept of uh, anything you cannot clear the exam of pmp so this is very necessary to you that you should have the clear concept of uh, benefit management plan and also if you are already a project manager then you should have the idea or concept of peer benefit management plan that how we can use it so uh, uh, friend thanks a lot uh, i have taken lots of your time uh, thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side thank you uh, please uh, share it with your friends please and likes this video and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you thanks a lot